Hi Anti Society, welcome back to the Anti Social Planet, and today we are checking out episode 16 of Bleach a Thousand Year Blood War, and I am nervous because we've started into the, the second invasion. We have quite a few things going on at the moment. You know, we have Shinsui who seems remarkably calm about the whole thing, which I, I don't know how to feel about that. He's pretty laid back in general, but he did talk about having like some kind of plan for this invasion so that makes me hopeful that there's something in place that that he has like up his sleeve that i just don't know about uh, i'm gonna put a lot of faith in him because i i want there to be a, a proper plan this time we also had toshida and matsumoto doing some cool combination attacks which i love getting to see because i feel like a lot of the time the captains and their lieutenants are like fighting separately but at the same time as opposed to like fighting together and actually seeing how their techniques and weapons can be used like in tandem for attacks and stuff which was really cool and we had mayuri coming back being like a glowing flower thing which is not the weirdest thing he's ever done i do remember when he turned himself into goo so you know <laughs> he's there and we have we have some other little things being set up with the different captains and lieutenants as this invasion starts so you know i i have i'm kind of holding my breath i know that ichigo is kind of going through his own journey at the moment uh, and I'm a little bit nervous, as everyone else kind of seems to be, about what he's going to be like when he comes out of that. I know that it's important for him, like, figuring out his abilities and stuff, but there does seem to be this ominous energy of, like, will he be too much of a threat to soul society and that kind of a thing? Especially since he does have power from, like, all of these different sides of this conflict. So I'm super on edge for this whole thing. So let's just get into this episode because I'm never going to be ready. <laughs> In three, two, one, go. I'm very nervous. It's probably fine. <laughs> probably fine. Okay. I forgot that there was like ice everywhere. Oh, I hate the like formerly. It hurts my soul. Oh yeah, I kind of blocked that out of my memory too because. <laughs> uh... How are we doing? We all look pretty beat up. You seem pretty intense. <gasps> uh! I do not like him. <laughs> I love how chaotic <laughs> that is. <sighs> I'm already like tense. I like that we seem to have some kind of plan to reclaim the Bankai. Good. Because uh, I feel like that might level out the playing field a little bit if anything it'll boost morale for them to like have what's been stolen from them back i don't like what we've done to matsumoto i like her a lot <sighs> i just 
I think they started on Ishida. <laughs> I'm still mad at him. I'm sure that something will happen and he'll win me back over. And I understand where he's coming from, but I'm still mad. <laughs> That's like my my take on it right now. <laughs> I'm not ready for the face-off between Ichigo and Ishida either. I think it'll break me. It's fine, I'll just live in d d denial <laughs> until further notice. <laughs> Prevention is also good. We like loopholes when it's beneficial <laughs> for maybe the good side. I was going to say good side, but then I was like, mm, I don't know if soul society counts as a good side. <laughs> oh, yeah. How did you get in communication? <laughs> I love how chaotic he is. But I also like that he got a communication device on Mayuri. Y'all gonna have to work together at some point. the side eye though i know that he doesn't want to help help him or get help from him but you're gonna have to yeah How long has it been since Urahara has been back here? I just realized that, like, it's probably been a very long time. Don't start making connections between Soul Reapers and an Iron Card. They don't like that. True. So there has to be the difference has to be the reason, like, the fault point, right? I do kind of like that they're the two great minds are teaming up even if they will probably bicker their way through it
What's it gonna do, though? It's a good point. Interesting. Interesting. What does that mean for Ichigo, then, if he is both? But he was Quincy first. Ooh, no, wait. I, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, I wonder if it's gonna be, like, a, a hullification of some kind, but I'm like, I want to see how cool that might look on all of the different Soul Reapers, but it also makes me nervous. It's cool though to like poison them from like the inside, like using their their tactic against them. At least he's polite. <laughs> Awoken by pure irritation. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> I do like the sass, though. Dang. Siphling doesn't mess around. <laughs> It does. <laughs> yeah, don't say that to them. They get touchy about that kind of thing. Toshida is remarkably calm about the whole thing. I noticed the, like, double voice thing, which is, like, very hollow. It's cool to see them, like, mixing those things, though. Like, after all of the, like, fear and um, pushing back on, like, holification with, like, visored and stuff, that... Now they're at a point where they're desperate enough, but also maybe more understanding about like how hollows work, that they're willing to like embrace 
the hullification here. Also, who just, like, landed next to Toshiro? And why are we seeing Ukeora in the middle panel thing? Other than the fact that we were talking about, like, R and car and stuff. I don't, to, I don't know what to read into anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that is unnecessary. Oh, they don't have to hold back now either because they don't need to be afraid that it'll be taken from them now. Oh, that's true. He doesn't have to worry about collateral damage now. <gasps> is this the moment from the trailer? Ooh! Ugh! I don't know what's happening, but the art style changed. Ooh, he's turning them against each other? Ooh. That's trippy. Especially like the like flipping upside down, right? So like turning someone from friend to foe. Really? You always act with a plan. <laughs> I like the growth though. You conjured that one. You're like, it's there was no way to tell where they where they'll come from. That's just asking to be attacked. That he has a gong with him. Oof, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, it was like seeing a group of unnamed characters. I'm like, this is not going to work out well for you. Uh oh. Who took him out? She seems intense. It's been a while since he's had the mask on.
<laughs> I love that. I'm like, I guess we can't be heroes. Seems a bit ominous that they're gonna do something that's not necessarily heroic. Oh, I love the like swinging back and forth of his apokto too, like the hypnotizing feeling of it. Oh, don't make me read backwards. I can't do that. <laughs> My brain has a hard enough time reading forwards. I love his ability, like the fact that it just like warps reality so much. The soundtrack, too, though. I love the framing of all these panels, too. Like, it's all off kilter. Just sitting menacingly? What does that mean? That seems ominous. What power? Oh dear. Whoa. <laughs> I do think it's cool that like they have something that seems very much like Bankai like the transformation and the fact that it it has like a, a kind of a similar vibe to it in terms of like the transformation and the unlocking of power and things like that um, in, in contrast to the Soul Reapers I really like getting to learn about like hollows and how it's like fear that really stems f like really feeds in to why they want to destroy hollows so much and it's like the same th thing that they have towards soul reapers right like the reason that there's such a vendetta against soul reapers is because soul reapers killed a bunch of them to like keep the balance right because they were killing too many hollows and that was wrecking all of the balance which is like part of a soul reaper's job is to maintain that balance so they ended up killing a bunch of quincy's and it's like the same place of fear that quincy's are going up against soul reapers now it's just like a fight to not be extinct and it's it's like hatred that's been part of that because of all the fear that they feel right it's morphed into hatred as like a form of like empowering themselves are we checking in with ichigo one step at a time
Are we getting someone's memories? Ooh. Does it have to do with the Soul King? The arrow makes me think Quincy's, though. Ooh, that is unsettling. It's almost like multiple stuck inside of him. Hmm. I really love, like, thematically having Shinji's Bankai revealed in that episode. Every time I say Bankai, I'm, like, worried about it because I know that I'm pronouncing it weird or, like, wrong or whatever. But I love getting that reveal in this one because his whole ability is, like, warping reality and, like, switching perspective, right? So turning things upside down and turning, like, friends into foes and that kind of a thing. So having that reveal of why Quincy's feel the way that they do about Hollows, it's not a difference in ideology because Hollows don't have an ideology, really. Uh, most of them are kind of just like mindlessly going about surviving and like consuming everything in their wake. So it isn't that, it's a fear of them, right? Like it's, the Hollows are, are poisonous to Quincy's and they don't really have a good counter to that other than like extinction, right? It's that feeling of being so fearful of your own extinction that you're you're overcompensating against this other species in the world and how that is a very similar thing to how they feel about soul reapers right same thing of like fearing that extinction so having a power reveal that's about warping someone's reality and flipping things upside down and changing perspectives and, and having that be disorienting is very like thematically uh, just like fits really well into the story because it's the same thing right it's like shifting that perspective of how we see Quincy's and even though we see them as like this powerful very militaristic um, organized force it's all fear that it's really coming from so I feel like I want to toy around with that idea I'm very worried about what that means for Ichigo because he's a hollow but he's also a Quincy like he literally has poison inside of him then so I don't really know what that's gonna mean now that he's like embraced his Quincy power right like it has been suppressed for so long and now he's finally unlocked it I don't know what that's really going to mean for him as as he goes forward. Like, are there going to be lasting repercussions of that? Or is he kind of balancing himself out, especially with like being a soul reaper too? Does that somehow balance things because of, that, of the power that he has with that? I really, really don't know, but um, it looks like things are going to be shaken up again. We had a little bit of hope with uh, people getting their powers back with this like quick holification. Don't really know what the lasting effects of that are going to be, if it's really going to be as like temporary and quick as Urahara said. But uh, things shaking up again as the Quincy's unlock their own ability. So I hope you enjoyed watching that along with me. You can click this playlist to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe so you miss next time I post a bleach reaction. I will see you in the next video. Bye.